cabin in woman no, the cabin in woman 10 what <laughs> Everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my November wrap-up for 2021 if you are new to this channel then you don't know this but my mom actually picks my TBR every month and she has a fun little theme that goes along with it for the books that she chose so this month's theme is mom needs a vacation so without further ado let us get started <sighs> The first book she chose is Come Away With Me by Karma Brown. This is because she always says come away with me when we're going on vacation because she always says, oh, I'm going to go on vacation with your dad. And then I'm like, excuse me, you're going to go without me. She goes, come away with me. This follows a woman who seems to have the perfect life. She has a loving husband named Gabe and a baby on the way. But then that all changes one night when a sheet of black ice causes the car to spin off the road. Losing the baby, she blames Gabe for this because he was the one driving and so as they're trying to get over their grief together he reminds her of their jar of spontaneity which is basically just a jar filled with destinations that they wanted to travel to together and so they decide to start an adventure and go to all these places and it's like the story of that. This is not my typical genre like woman's fiction kind of situation. I'm more of a like mystery thriller kind of vibe so we're gonna see how this goes. I think I picked this up because it was like one of those I'm at a thrift store and it was like a buy four get one free and there were no other books and I think my mom picked this up because she was like oh maybe it'll be a good time so it's just been on my shelf for a while so we're gonna pick it up and hopefully I actually like it. Next up she chose The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. This is because when she does go on vacation she would rather go out and explore where she is rather than stay inside her hotel room. I have had this on my TBR since it came out. I am very excited about it. I think it sounds so stinking cool. I love me some witch books and also it's just the most gorgeous book naked. So I want to read it so that <laughs> I can know if if it's a three star or higher and then I get to keep it or not because I just want to display it without the dust jacket on my shelf because I'm obsessed with butterflies if you don't know. So I just need the butterfly book to be on my shelf because it's gorgeous. Next up is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. This is because she likes the sand when she goes on vacation, like beaches she enjoys, but she doesn't really like going in the water unless it's to go scuba diving. But this is like a booktube darling from like 2015 when I first started on booktube and it's just been sitting on my TBR since then. So I really do need to pick it up so that I can say that I've read it because I feel like I'm the only like person who's been on booktube for over five years who hasn't read it yet, so. Next up is The Woman in Cabin 10. This is by Ruth Ware. She chose this because, like, cabin in the woods kind of thing, even though I'm pretty sure this takes place on, like, a ship. She's actually read this book and said that she thinks that I would really like it because it's, like, right up my alley and it's interesting she said there was like a twist we'll see i'm usually like a hit or miss with ruth Ware. either i really love her books or i find them very very average so we're hoping that this is one that i really enjoy next yes. up is the sun is also a star by nicola yoon this is another one that has been on my tbr for a thousand years but she chose this one because when she goes on vacation she likes to go out at night to see all the stars because we live in the city and you never really see the stars here because pollution is a thing. So when she goes on vacation, she likes to be able to see the stars and she thinks they're pretty. I'm pretty sure this became a movie a couple years ago. Maybe it was last year. Honestly, time does not exist in my world, but it did become a movie. I have not watched the movie because I said I wanted to read the book before I watched the movie. So will it happen this month? Maybe. Who knows? Next is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. Y'all are probably very confused how this ties into vacation, but it's because when we were younger, we went to Cayman's Island. We were on a cruise and we went on a like turtle excursion and I held one of the turtles and it slapped me in the face. So she just thinks it's funny. I'm pretty sure I have a picture of it somewhere, but I don't know how to even go about finding that picture. I honestly have no idea what this is about because I know it's obviously not about turtles, but I've never actually read the synopsis, nor do I want to because I kind of just want to go into it blind. A lot of people have read this book, so it says that it's a brilliant novel of love, resilience, and the power of lifelong friendship. So it's got something to do with friendship. That's all I'm going to tell you because I don't that want she... to know. The last book that she chose is Into the Woods by Gary Polson. 
this is a super famous author. He wrote award-winning books, but this is his story of his childhood and it was very traumatic. But it's a signed copy of it, so I mean that's pretty cool. But yeah, it's like his memoir of his childhood, so. I usually don't read nonfiction books, so I'm pretty sure this will be the first nonfiction book I've read in years and years and years and years, so we're gonna see if we're a fan of that genre now. Alright everybody, so that is my November TBR for 2021. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!